Hi, this is Dr. Mike, host of the free iTunes podcast, Psychiatric Secrets Revealed with Dr. Mike, but that's not why I'm here today. I'm here to talk about another Saving Savvy episode. This one is a review on the C. Crane SW Pocket Radio, which sells for about 50 bucks. So as you can see, this is about the size of a typical transistor radio, if you remember those from the olden days. So why would you want a radio like this? This is a great travel radio. If you go to a lot of uh, business trips or if you just go on family trips or camping or hiking, sometimes it's really nice to have a radio with you. And I know a lot of hotels have radios now, clock radios, but the problem with that is they're often very poor quality. For instance, I compared the clock radio in one hotel with this radio on both the AM and FM bands, and I found out that this radio could receive three times the amount of FM stations and five times the amount of AM stations than the cheap clock radio did. Now that was taking this radio and putting it in the same position, I bet I would have had even better results if I would have taken this radio and placed it by the window. And since it operates on batteries, you can really do that, and you can place it anywhere. Now this radio has a lot of advanced features. It has 200 memories, which means that you can store 200 stations of any sort that you'd like, AM, FM, or shortwave, in any order, and then recall them very easily with a variety of methods. You can also digitally put in your, or just um, with a keypad here, put in your frequency of your station. So instead of tuning to a station, you can put in, for instance, let's say you're listening to a station at 90 5.1 FM or something, you can just put 951 and you're going to get that station in here, which is a good thing because the tuning dial, which is here, is very slow. So the ability to use those memories and the ability to, to actually put the keypad or use the keypad to find your radio station is going to be important. This is a single conversion radio for those of you that are into these types of radios. That means it's going to be a little more prone to different uh, interference, uh, bleeding over from other stations, for instance, or dit dot noises and that sort of thing. But with that said, the circuitry design is pretty good, so it's not a, a really terrible problem. It's just a minor inconvenience. Uh, also, it comes with a nice carrying case and the instructions fit right into the carrying case which is good because you'll probably want to refer to those unless you use the radio all the time because it takes a little bit of learning and it also comes with a very nice set of earbuds and these actually sound very good so you're getting a lot for the money it does have an AC adapter hole um, but it does not come with an adapter I don't think an adapter is really necessary because uh, it uses only two AA batteries and it says that those batteries will last up to 70 hours so you get a lot of battery use out of your batteries. The antenna does uh, rotate and tilt, which is very good for the uh, short wave and for the FM. And you have a lot of other nice convenience features on here. For instance, you have a dial light and a sleep timer. That sleep timer is just like your clock radio, um, so you can set it and it's going to go off after 60 minutes or so. It also has an alarm that will alarm with both either a radio or a buzzer, so this can serve as a nice alarm clock. The other thing that I found when I travel in hotels is that even though they have clock radios, sometimes those alarms don't work very well. They don't go off when they should, or the, the knobs are, are a little bit... Um, broken down and they just don't work so well. So it's great to have your own device that you take with you. How about the sound? Well, the sound is actually quite good considering that the speaker is so small, but it's certainly not a Bose radio. It's, it's just a nice clear sounding transistor set. Sounds very, very good through the headphones. But one warning here is when you do use the headphones on FM, it's going to pick it up in stereo. Now that's great if you have a strong station, not so good if the station is weak because when you listen to a weak FM station uh, in stereo, it has a lot of kind of noise, a lot of hissing and that sort of thing. And there's no way to switch this radio from stereo to mono when listening with the headphones. So that's a minor problem, but again, it's the way it is. Uh, tactile feel on the buttons, so-so. Things that I don't like about the radio, the volume controls are by button only. That's over here. That's a little inconvenient. Um, the tactile feel on the buttons I don't like very much. All in all, I would recommend this radio for anyone who needs a little radio to take with them when they're traveling on business trips, hiking, or maybe just going on a family vacation. It's less useful if you want to use it as a radio at home because it is so small and it has a smaller speaker, but it certainly would serve that function. It would be a good emergency radio, too.
Another really nice feature about this radio is that it has two shortwave bands. Actually, these are two very wide swatches of the shortwave frequency, which include a number of the typical international broadcasting bands available on shortwave. International bands, if you're unfamiliar with this, are these frequencies on the shortwave band that offer worldwide communication and often stations in many languages, but certainly many in English. So it's possible to listen to, for instance, the news or programming from countries like Britain or France or Russia or China or wherever you really want to. I mean, there's, there's many, many stations out there. That's great if you're traveling internationally and you want to get some news in English. It's also great uh, if you just want to fool around with it as a hobby, maybe hear what other countries think about different news events. Um, and so that's also included in this radio. Shortwave reception is decent. Obviously, it's not as good as a premium radio, but it's certainly many cuts above your typical bargain basement uh, shortwave radio. And if you kind of want to fool around shortwave a bit, this might be a good place to start because if you don't like it, then you still have a nice radio that you can use for other things. So if you're interested, interested in the radio for the said purposes, consider this radio. I think it's worth the money for about 50 bucks. Um, it's actually made by a company called Red Sun. Um, it's a Chinese company. Sea Crane is uh, marketing under their own brand here, uh, but pretty good, pretty good deal. Uh, you can get this radio from uh, ccradio.com or other uh, sources like Universal Radio, um, and I'm sure others too. Lastly, I'd ask you to uh, please give my podcast a listen. It's free. It's on iTunes. Just search either my name, which is Michael Kuna, K-U-N-A-M-D, or Psychiatric Secrets Revealed. It's uh, an informative podcast that will keep you in the know when it comes to mental health issues and just general well-being.